Sioux ships and mutants in the exact same video. And you know what? We've got some spriggans as well. Let's take a peep at this, shall we? Make sure you guys smash that little crap button that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. The first list we're going to be looking at here is Sioux ships. Remember, more support is on the horizon for the little sushi tree. So this is just a little bit to whet the appetite. Full pun intended there, by the way. So... We have from, yeah, this is from G-Money, by the way, from their testing. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, triple copies of Demotica, Floor de Lee, or Ecclesia, one Floor de Lise, one Maximus, two Ghost Bell, triple copies of the Gunkin Suze Ship Eruka, triple copies of Gamma, triple copies of Rescue Rabbit, triple copies of the Gunkin Suze Ship Sherry, I almost wanted to say Cheryl, by the way. We have one copy of Driver, one Double or Nothing, triple copies of the Seaside Supper Spot, triple copies of Nadir Servant, triple copies of Unexpected Die, one Upstar Goblin, two copies of Punishment, one Imperial Order, and triple copies of Infinite Permanence. Down here in the extra, we have one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Tornado Dragon, one Utopia Lightning, one Utopia Double, two Utopia, two copies of the Eruka Class Dreadnought, two copies of Zeus, one Abyss Dweller, one Omega, one Titan Clad, and one Anintis. Side deck here, we have triple copies of Lancia, triple copies of D-Shifter, triple copies of Drawn Lockbird, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, and triple copies of Twin Twisters here. Wrapping up Sioux Ships. I really wish I could say more about this deck. Um, keep in mind, you're basically just going to be that rank four toolbox. Uh, a lot of the other previous uh, toolbox-esque decks from this era have been. All right, Zeus is going to end up being your fundamental boss monster. And you're still going to hold down, you know, things like Ecclesia to get punishments to hold back the rest or to be able to play the rest of the game. All right, uh, the Dogmatic Package does give you that extra oof to kind of establish and set up those boards. At least so you have a finer level of protection here. It's not the great greatest thing in the world, but you know what? It gets the job done. All right. Next up here, we have Spriggan Time Thief. This is actually interesting. Uh, Spriggans have actually been a little bit of a fan favorite from uh, quite a few players that I've seen here. So getting the chance to kind of incorporate in like a Time Thief engineer for extra extending capabilities here, something that Anthony Williams definitely caught my eye on. So we have two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Two copies of Gamma, one copy of Singing Lanius, two copies of Branga, one copy of Brothers, and then we have two copies of the Captain Surrogus, two copies of Pedor, and then we have triple copies of Rocky, triple copies of Time Thief Adjuster, uh, one Bezel Ship, triple copies of the Time Thief Regulator, triple copies of Winder, and one copy of our Brick. Then we have one Call by the Grand, triple copies of the Gold Gondola, and then we have triple copies of Booty, triple copies of Watch, one Terraforming, Triple copies of Shade Brigadine and one Time Thief Retrograde. Down in the next track, we have one Lambda, one Gravity Controller, two Redoer, one copy of the X Blower, one Merry Maker, two Merry Maker, one copy of Four Strix, one Raiders Knight, one Utopic Future, and one Utopic Draco Future, one Zeus, one Arc Rebellion, with one Omega, and the one copy of the Iron Dash Dragon. Side deck here, we have triple copies of Cycle Raider, triple copies of Ghost Bell and the Haunted Mansion, triple Nibiru. Triple Hadoken with one Harpy's Feather Duster and two copies of Twin Twister here. Wrapping up Anthony Williams, a very interesting take on this deck. I definitely do like awesome concepts like this where you can pull things together like Spriggans and this, once again, Rank 4 Toolbox, by the way. There's just kind of something about the idea of synergy, by the way. All Rank 4 definitely has that common goal at the end of the day. Next up here is frickin' Mutants. All right, now this deck has had a consecutive top four finish at Locals for the last three weeks. So that's through old format and modern format here. And Andrew Hanna definitely caught my attention with this. All right, I do love seeing Mutants get the chance to do something here. And you know what? Even like, it's because of this card right here. If a monster monsters, especially some of the controller of that monster banishes one card from their hand. Huh, so that would uh, work in favor of the mutants, right? Yeah. So we have one copy of Arsenal, one copy of Mist, one copy of Fleur de Lis, one Beast, one Maximus, one Ecclesia, triple copies of ST46, triple Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple copies of MO5, triple copies of Nadir Servant, two Talents, one copy called by the Grave, triple Droplet, one Emergency Teleport, triple Summoning Curse, two copies of the Lab. Then we have two of the permanents, triple copies of Cry, two copies of Punishment, 
triple copies of expansion, and one copy of skill drain. I know next we have one cross sheep, one Selene, one black Luster soldier, one access code, one cipher dragon with one full armor, and then one cipher blade dragon. Then we have one omega, two copies of Venentis, one titan clad, triple copies of synthesis, and one copy of Ultimius. Then we have one copy of Nexus. That's freaking hilarious. Triple copies of Nibiru, triple copies of Alpha, one Pinker Tops, one Lightning Storm, one Talents, one copy of Mutant Blast, triple copies of Evenly Matched, and one copy of Punishment here. Wrapping up Andrahana's Mutant Dogmatica list. Next up here, Bugs. All right, Bugs have been doing really cool out here. Um, the fact that, you know, Quagger Hercules is locked behind such a paywall right now has been really disappointing, but truthfully, there's plenty of other variants of things you can do, especially with Big Insect here. It's so hilarious. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, one copy of the Zectopede, one copy of the Battle Wasp, Rapid Fire, triple copies of Pin the Bullseye, two copies of Sting the Poison, triple copies of the Scale Bomber, two copies of Scout Buggy, two copies of Sting Lancer, one Doomdozer, two copies of Goki Pole, one copy of Kumamungus, then we have triple copies of Gamma, triple copies of Resonance Insect, one Retaliating Sea, one Big Insect Lad, with one Driver, then we have one copy Formation, two, excuse me, one copy Call by the Grave, one Foolish Barrel, one Gold Sark, one Monster Reborn, triple copies of Pot of Prosperity, one Fly and Sting, one Imperial Order, and triple copies of Infinite Permanent Starting Next Trick. We have one Shinobi Insect, one copy of the Seraphim Papillion, one El Mirage, the one Unicorn, the two copies of Pico Felinia, one in, two Invincible Atlas, one Hauk, two Armor Horn, one Axis Machine, the Syncata King, the Zeus, and the Omega. Side deck here, we have two Cycle Raider, two Contact Seat, triple Nibiru, two copies of Retaliating Seat, triple Twin Twisters, and triple copies of Rivalry of the Warlords. Wrapping up, another take for Insects. Do not underestimate this deck, ladies and gentlemen, because when this harsh posh toolbox of Insects floors it to the ground, you are going to have a bad time, all right? Yeah, thank you, Retaliating Seat, for just being one of the coolest searchers in existence. Next up here, we have... Oh boy, this is this is a deck. We have the interruption engine of this. We have the standard Dragon Link package here. And we're playing Buster Blader. Pineapple, apple a pin. <laughs> That's what this deck feels like. We have one copy of Absorator Dragon, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, one Collapse Serpent, two copies of the Black Metal Dragon, two copies of Buster Blader, two copies of the Buster Welp. One copy of Levy Near, triple copies of Edin, Edgem Chain, one Scythe, triple copies of Fluffle Bear with one Penguin, triple copies of Noctivision, one copy of Brotar, triple copies of Gamma, one Red MD, one Recharger, triple copies of Tracer, one copy of Silver Rocket, one Wyvern Buster, one Dark Magician, one Red Eyes, and the one Driver. We have one Boot Sector, triple copies of Chaos Space, one copy of Ravine, triple copies of Patchwork, one copy of Repair, one Poly, triple copies of Quick Launch, one Red Eyes Fusion, triple copies of Toy Vendor, two copies of World Legacy. Then we have one Memories, triple copies of Prologue. Then in the next trick, we have one Striker Dragon, one Quad Boral, one copy of Protector Welp, one Verte, two copies of the Heavenly Spheres, one copy of Romulus, one Deligerous, one copy of Boral Sword, one Apollos, the one Buster Dragon, the one Boral Load Savage, with one Red Eyes Director Grin, one Whale, one Mr. Big Buster Blader. A triple Chaos Hunter, triple Drone Lockbird, triple Gamma Seal, triple Nibiru, and triple copies of Twin Twisters here. Right up David Frigita's interesting. Triple, like, ah, this This is just such a cluster of cards. Last list I have for you guys is from Dominic. This is going to be Tri Brigade for the current format. So I have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple Effect Veiler, two Ghost Bell, triple Gamma, triple copies of Rescue Cap, triple copies of Frock Doll, two Karis, triple Kit, Triple copies of Nerval, with one Driver, one Call by the Grave, two Cross Out Designator, one Tenki, triple copies of Desires, one Imperial Order, triple Strike, and triple copies of Revolt. Extract here we have two Shirag, one copy of Regal, two Frigid, two Bear Broom, one Al Mirage, one Lambda, one Harvestingajur, one Asa, one Apollosa, one Double Dragon Lords, one Axis Code, and the one Omega. So take here we have triple Ansia, triple Droll and Lockbird, triple copies of Nibiru, triple Twin Twisters, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment. Wrapping up, whew, what a journey of deck profiles here. I hope you guys are enjoying seeing the interesting diversity across the board here. Guys, please leave a comment down below to me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day with some more cool content. You guys have a good rest of your day, right? Peace out, guys. 
Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing trouble shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardway Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.